Hello! Today I'm going to be taking you guys through my one year journey to learning game development with absolutely no background in any relevant fields. No art skills, no programming background, just a love for video games, and a bit of an obsessive personality. So let's rewind. When I started, I had zero experience. I couldn't draw, I couldn't code, I didn't even know what a game engine was. One day, mindlessly doom scrolling on YouTube shorts, I started getting game development content recommended to me. And I thought, hey, why don't I try this? I mean, I know I love video games, so I figured, why not try making one? Thanks to those lovely YouTube shorts, I decided I should start with programming. It did feel like the easiest entry point. That's when I found Godot, open source, beginner friendly, and had the most hype around it at the time. I dove into a bunch of your first game tutorials to scratch that itch of completing projects, but quickly hit a wall. I wasn't actually learning how to program. I was just falling along and boom, I made a game. There was no actual learning here. I knew I couldn't get by until I learned the basics of programming and how to actually use GDScript, the native language in Godot. Shout out to the Godoniers, Godotoniers. Go, go dots and ears. Very hard YouTube channel name to say, but one of my favorites back in the day when I was st first starting to learn how to use Godot. His tutorials always broke down things in a way that just clicked for me. Without them, I don't think I would have got the basics down so quickly. Special shout out to their video called Learning to Program with GDScript. Seriously, an amazing video for any beginner who's trying to get into Godot and programming at the same time. Once I got the hang of how Godot worked, I shifted gears to learn how to code more deeply and slowly, things started to click. Then came my first real project, RC Space Defenders, my own twist on Space Invaders. It was janky to say the least, but it was simple. It was mine, my idea. It was my own decision-making. And although it's a buggy, simple mess, it's still a game I created on my own and I'm very proud of it. During this first project, I decided that I was going to do all my own art. I picked up a sprite and decided I was going to use pixel art for the rest of the year and try to improve on it as much as I could. I didn't do any formal tutorials, but I did watch other people draw occasionally and try to pick up any techniques I could along the way. That's definitely something I want to improve in the next year here is my art skills. But overall, I don't think I did too bad of a job. Let me know in the comments if you think this art's any good. I, I mean, I don't know. This thing looks like a chicken. So, I mean, that's cool I guess right right after that I wanted more I kept hearing from other game dev youtubers that the best way to learn quickly is through game jams so I joined my first game jam the pirate jam 16 I made a dungeon crawler fighting game about pizza and yeah if you couldn't guess it was awful it was incomplete it wasn't fun at all but man did I learn a ton then came a couple of smaller projects directly after that. I did a Flappy Bird clone, a Jetpack Joyride clone, both starring chickens since we had just gotten chickens personally. These little games helped me build confidence. So I joined another game jam, Bullet Hell Jam 6, and made Hazmat Dude. This is the first time I felt like I made a real game. It had mechanics, polish, and most importantly, it was fun to make. But after Hazmat Dude, I hit a wall. Life got busy. I lost motivation. I stopped making games and just watched other people make them. Devlogs, tutorials, YouTube binges. I wasn't creating, I was just consuming. If you've ever been in a tutorial hell like this, you know how stuck you can feel. Then a couple months ago, something changed. I got that itch again. I started prototyping again. I tried making a mouse-based sword combat game, but it just didn't feel fun, so I scrapped it really quickly. Then I started working on a, something new, an incremental space miner. I'm super early and I don't know what, exactly where it's going, but I'm having a blast. I'm building systems, experimenting with ideas, and most importantly, I'm creating again. So yeah, that's my first year in game dev. Not a lot has happened, uh, but from zero skills to building games I'm proud of, that's a huge accomplishment for me. If you're just starting out, trust me, you don't need to know everything. You just need to start. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to hear more about my game dev journey and maybe see me do any game dev stuff on this, this channel, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. 
I look forward to doing many more game jams, learning many more important things when it comes to game development. And I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch. Goodbye.